So in doing this channel for a good part of three, possibly four years, I just recently got a comment asking me to do any Portuguese wines. And when I look back at the entire scope of all the wines I've done in my career, I noticed something very striking. I've only really done two Portuguese wines, and I'm not even counting port in there, because let's just face it, I mean, port, Portugal, I mean, it's there. But in all honesty, I want to do more Portuguese wines, because Portuguese wines, frankly, are just kind of underrated. You don't hear about them a lot outside of port. So, thank you to Andre for suggesting doing Portuguese wines. You have no idea how hard it was to find a Portuguese wine. Seriously, 45 minutes in my local wine store just to find two wines. Kind of freaking ridiculous. But here's the first one. Thank you, Andre, for liking the videos and commenting. And if you have any suggestions for a future wine tasting, let me know in the comments. And if I can find the wine, I may taste it just for you so you can get your review before buying it yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, the Amateur Sommelier, back with another wine tasting video. I went through my analytics recently and did some shopping of, actually just alcohol in general is my big Oktoberfest order, and wow, that was a lot of money. That was a lot of alcohol. Anyway, what I found in my analytics is that I have not done a rosé wine in five months. That's a bit of a long time. For someone who's been doing weekly wine tastings for very long. We're going to fix that. This is the Mariello Rosé. It is a 2018 vintage. And it is from Portugal. Or, uh, it says Vinho Original. So. Andre, if you are watching this, it's Portuguese, buddy. Wonderful. I did not actually buy this today. It's actually been in my wine fridge for quite a while, I am sure. So, you will notice the color is not very pink. It's actually quite orange. It's almost like colorless on the rim, too, which is very interesting. Full disclosure, I have not let this aerate a lot. At all, actually. But it's a twisty top, so. Let's hope this doesn't end poorly. Because if it does, I have no idea what I'm pairing with my lamb. Although it's probably going to be a red. And it's probably going to be a red that I actually found. Today. This. Hold on. Okay, it definitely needs to air more. I am literally opening this bottle as we speak. That needs to air so much more. Um, It's kind of like... Almost a weak Chardonnay? Why am I getting, like, weak Chardonnay, oaky butter vibes with this? I don't know. I don't think my mic is picking up the veracity of which I am trying to aerate this. Hopefully I don't spill this on my laptop either. Although that'd be really, really funny. Not really. Alright, we're getting a little bit of pear. This smells like a Chardonnay. Oaky, buttery, pear. Maybe a bit of melon. I don't believe this. Hold on. Uh, perfect open it to seafood appetizers and summertime cuisine. True dry style, crisp, elegant aromas, bright cherry and ripe plum. Enjoy chilled. Y'all, I don't smell anything about cherry and or plum. Let's see if it's on the ballot.
There's... Excuse me. It's kind of like a sour cherry. I'm not feeling the plum. I'm not buying it. Maybe a different type of plum. I would say that's like a sour cherry. Wow, it's really sour. Uh, quite acidic. Medium high acidity. Holy cow. Um... That was almost floral like too. That was it's low tannin. Not a lot of burn going out of the throat. It's almost like there was floral element in there too. Like a lavender. This is kinda weird. Um Yeah. I think I just need to aerate this a heck of a lot more to get that cherry out there. If I find the plum, so be it. But it smells like a Chardonnay. Yeah, it smells like a Chardonnay. I don't... That's just really weird. I don't know. I think you just need to aerate this more. Oh, well. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you didn't enjoy, leave a like, follow, subscribe, all the fun stuff. And make sure to check E out as well on YouTube, Rumbles, Locals. Yeah. The Locals is actually yo boy aaron.locals.com. But, you know, we know. Good night, everybody.